By now, you likely know a thing or two about K-pop. And if you do, it probably has something to do with BTS. Biggest boy band in the world, BTS. Once again, BTS. The seven-member boy band from South Korea has racked up a mind-boggling trophy case of achievements in the English-speaking world. For those keeping track, that's three consecutive Billboard number one albums, two certified platinum singles in the United States, and two sold-out nights in a row at London's legendary Wembley Stadium. And that's all just in the past year, give or take a month. But how did BTS get so big in the West? K-pop has been a steadily growing phenomenon for years. There was BTS's biggest boy band predecessors, Big Bang, plus the girl group 21. And who could forget Psy? You didn't forget, did you? Open Gangnam Style! Gangnam Style! Open Gangnam Style! Turns out, BTS had a powder keg combo that was just right for the American market and especially America's burgeoning K-pop niche. A perfectly balanced formula that no one else had, or even knew could be so successful. For BTS, it all came together on a mini-album, or EP, that the group released in April of 2015, called Huayang Yonhua, or The Most Beautiful Moment in Life. It was part one of a new trilogy in the band's discography, which they would spend the next year completing. Parts two and three were important to their success too, like everything else they've released since then. But that perfect balance really all came together for the first time on part one. So what was it? That formula can be thought of as an equilibrium of three components, each one reinforcing the others. The first one you could call urgency. From the songs' production to the lyrics to the group's performances as vocalists and dancers, there was a sense of urgency uncommon to K-pop at the time. Suga, a rapper and the main producer in the group, opens the album with an atmospheric intro track that vividly evokes his deepest anxieties, with lyrics like, Because of other people's standards for success, my worries spread like cancer again, followed by the first bit of English on the entire album. The next song, the lead single, I Need You, has a driving, future-based beat and lyrics about a desperate relationship. The words are directed to a hypothetical girl, but it was easy for fans to read between the lines. Low on funds, BTS needed their fans, needed each other, and needed the small, homegrown crew behind their struggling label, Big Hit Entertainment. The song's music video presented BTS in a new light, seven young men leaning on each other as they navigate a bleak, barren world. Of course, the urgency of these songs weren't unprecedented in K-pop. By this point, boy bands like Infinite had earned considerable Western followings with concepts that were dramatic, violent, and desperate. Which is where the second key element of the most beautiful moment comes in. Authenticity. These were all songs that BTS helped write and produce which lent gravity to their determination. It was really their own urgency you were hearing and seeing, the members' own hopes, dreams, and mental breakdowns. Even then, groups like Beast and BAP had for years been making creative contributions to their own dark, urgent music too, which is what makes the third piece of BTS's success with the most beautiful moment so crucial, their credibility. BTS members have had some combination of lyric, composition, and production credits on all of their songs since the very beginning. And unlike other groups who cycled through dark concepts and brighter, sugary, sweet singles, BTS's music always built on what came before, maintaining a consistency that Western audiences take for granted. This credibility reached all the way back to the days before BTS had even officially debuted as a group, when their label, Big Hit, uploaded band member RM's homemade songs and music videos, and even Suga's YouTube reviews of production hardware. The group's later claims to artistry, a 
typical white lie in pop music East and West, where ghostwriters and ghost producers are common, had far more credibility thanks to this early evidence of their involvement in their own music and creative voice. While they've always contributed to their own creative process, most of the other credits have gone to an inner circle of big hit staff who are known for being BTS's close friends and confidants, giving their success a team effort feeling that stands out from the usual song camp model of production in Korea and abroad. But the overall message of the most beautiful moment was what was really most important. Since the start of BTS's career, their music videos have begun with Big Hit's tagline, Music and Artists for Healing. The urgency that BTS conveyed so perfectly on the most beautiful moment, backed up by their authenticity and credibility as artists, has always been messaged as being part of a greater goal, to heal themselves and their listeners, and to provide a spiritual nourishment BTS would build on this mission statement brilliantly with their second big breakthrough, Love Yourself, but it all locked into place back in 2015, and their fans got it immediately. <laughs>